what we're seeing here, the emerging church and, you know, Rick Warren's uh, view of spirituality that the Christian of the future will be a mystic. And that's, we're in the process of transitioning to that right now. Okay. And Jesus himself said in Matthew 6, 7, and when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think they will be heard for their many words. Okay, now, the, here, here's the part that uh, many of you probably resonate with. Now, the Spirit expressly says that in the latter time, some, shall, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Now, I believe that all these people that are getting in touch with what they believe to be God are actually getting in touch with deceiving spirits. And the word in the King James is uh, seducing spirits. Seducing spirits, which has an even more sinister connotation. Because, you know, if you're seduced, it means you're, you're getting an imposter. Somebody who seduces people uh, does so by presenting themselves as something they're not. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. You know, Henry Nowen said that it's up to him to help people find his or her own way to God. Obviously, the, the preaching of the cross is not the power of God to him. And the catalyst for this was contemplative prayer. This is what I see all over the place. No one ever goes in the, in the direction of the preaching of the cross when contemplative prayer is being practiced. You know, for you, Lucifer, have said in your heart, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Any spiritual belief that makes you believe that you're God is satanic. You know, I will be like the Most High. There's a logic there. It's not, it's not, it's not some kind of prejudice. You know, it's, you, you can see it. I will be like the Most High. That's what I see behind all these spiritual approaches, that man is divine, and if man is divine, he doesn't need the cross. Okay, the basic thesis of this presentation is that a mystical, occult-driven New Age movement has radically changed, and the emphasis is on radically, has radically changed the spiritual landscape of the Western world. Society is being conditioned to embrace a false spirituality that rejects the God of the Bible and the gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ. So that's the bottom line right there. That's what we're looking at. That this, is, this is the controversy right here. We have a, one spirituality that is replacing another spirituality, and the spirituality that is getting replaced is the one that we base our approach to God on, you know, the gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ. Non-mystics, and that would be people in this room, operate in the realm of the conscious mind, objective reason and ideas. Mystics, on the other hand, operate in the realm of subjective experiences and altered states of consciousness, having employed some technique to get in touch with a supernatural force or power. Uh, Peter says, uh, uh, honor all men. You're not supposed to crusade against them in the sense you want to burn down their temples and hurt them and call them names. You're supposed to be uh, very loving, but you're supposed to also stand firm as to what the way of salvation is. You're not supposed to, you know, join with them in the sense of, of their religion. And also it says, but I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God, and I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. In other words, in these mo mystical movements we've been looking at today, people are having fellowship with devils. The problem with contemplatives, if they were really so close to God, they would understand and embrace Christianity to a degree it would be shockingly clear. In other words, if contemplative prayer really was Christian, people like Thomas Merton and Henry Nowen and M. Scott Peck and all these people, uh, Sue Monk Kidd, they'd be like Charles Spurgeon, right? If contemplative prayer really was Christian. But in reality, contemplative prayer has taken them the opposite direction. Instead of being valiant stewards of the Great Commission, it has caused them to be immersed in spiritual adultery. Okay, this is a book called Reimagining Christianity by Alan Jones. Okay, that's the cross. That's a dashboard right there. That's a Buddha. Yeah, that, uh, that's a Buddha there. So we have the cross and we have the Buddha. There's a reason for that picture. Or the, as he calls it, the secret silence of God is not just where all the great world religions can meet, but where everybody can meet, whether you're an atheist or no matter what you are, you know, all of humanity can be united at the mystical level, truly a one-world religion. 
And uh, how many of you heard of the book uh, Eat, Pray, Love? Okay, in that, Elizabeth Gilbert says that everything, including turnips and bed bugs, are God. Now, I know that sounds funny, but she's had the experience of turnips and bed bugs being God. I believe that we're seeing Bible prophecy unfold and that people need to uh, wake up and they need to uh, d decide what camp they're going to be in. Matthew 24, Jesus says, Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and you'll see many. That word in many there in the Greek is palus, which means a sore number. There's a land that is fairer than day And by faith we can see it afar For the Father waits over the way To prepare us a dwelling place there In the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore We shall sing on that beautiful shore The melodious songs of the blessed and our spirit shall sorrow no more Not a sigh for the blessing of rest In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore What a feeling There's no place like home there's something here that puts my heart at ease There is no other spot I'd rather be The ambience just suits me to a tee What a feeling There's no place like home 